अगर हम जी कॉर्ड को ऐसे पकड़ते हैं इट गिव्स अ सो मच ऑफ फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी ऑफ प्लेइंग ऑल दी सेवन मेजर सेवन एंड ऑगमेंटेड एंड सिक्स इफ यू वॉन्ट लर्न दैट Keep watching this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon. I'm sure all of us love uh, this kind of jazz sound in our chords. Personally, जब मैंने jazz को ज़्यादा explore नहीं करा था और मैं ज़्यादातर rock या pop genre के गाने बजाया करता था तो जो jazz का sound था मैं उसको recreate करने की जब कोशिश करता था तो at that time it was next to impossible for me. तो जो sound एक chord का जो environment create होता है in music में कहीं ना कहीं जब मैं अपनी उस वक्त की जो कॉर्ड नॉलेज थी जब मैं वो बजाता था आई वाज मिसिंग समथिंग वेयर्स द फ्लेवर वेयर्स द फ्लेवर इन दिस आई डोंट टेस्ट एनीथिंग आई डोंट टेस्ट शुगर सिनेमन नटमेक मिल नथिंग अम व्हिच इंक्रीज माय क्यूरियोसिटी अबाउट नोइंग मोर कॉर्ड्स आई मुझे मुझे ये समझ में आया कि आई थिंक जो मेरी प्रेजेंट नॉलेज है कॉर्ड्स की दैट इज नॉट इनफ सो देर आर कॉर्ड्स लाइक सेवंथ कॉर्ड्स मेजर सेवंथ कॉर्ड्स माइनर मेजर सेवंथ कॉर्ड्स फ्लैट फाइव कॉर्ड्स फ्लैट नाइन शार्प नाइन वन डे आई एक्सप्लोर्ड अ मेथड ऑफ होल्डिंग जी कॉर्ड इन अ स्पेसिफिक वे आई एम टेलिंग यू दैट ओपन अनदर डोर ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग G major chord is made up of first, third, and fifth note of G major scale, and that is G, B, and D. Now, G major chord बजाने का जो usual तरीका है, जो most common method है, वो ये है, या कुछ लोग D भी press करते हैं साथ में. I sometimes play it like this also. इस जब मैं ऐसे बजाता हूँ तो I keep my fifth string muted. Then people also play it like this. I also play it like this sometimes, and you can also play it like this. You can also play it like uh, in a shape of D. So so many ways. Whatever suits, um, uh, whatever suits um, that situation, you can use G in that manner. Today, the shape. What I'm going to tell you is derived. Somewhere from this bar chord of G, but हम इसको hold करने का तरीका change करेंगे. So what we will do, we'll keep our first finger here on G. We will keep our second finger on D. Then we'll keep our third finger on B. And then we'll keep our uh, pinky on G. and when i played like this what i'm doing i'm muting this and i'm also muting this now how to mute that um uh, don't use your tip to press this just keep your finger little flat or flat rakhne se kya hoga ke this string will get muted and also here here also my first finger is touching the first string and muting it and also you you when you're playing it just control your hand like this and if you play finger style then you can just pluck these four strings right now the chord which i am playing is g major chord so this is g major now just try to understand the construction of this so here is g If I see this note, this is also G, but an octave up. Okay, so I can say this is the eighth note. Uh, if I see this this note, so this is holding the third note of the scale. And if I see this note, so this is the fifth note of the scale. That is D. Okay. So if I say the notes G G octave up, 
then this is B and this is D. So this is this this is the root note on the sixth string. So this is holding the eighth note. Or if I eighth note ko ek flat kar deta hu. If I bring it down by one half step, so I'll reach the seventh note of the scale. And this I just rearrange to hold it better. And this gives me a G major seventh chord. So it is having its own unique sound. If you're playing G major, it sounds like this, and G major seven is. So just by moving one finger back and rearranging, we get G major seventh. Now again, I'll just bring this note down by another half step. So I have to rearrange. So I have to press third fret. So I'll rearrange, and I'll bring it. I'll hold the strings like this, and the chord becomes G seventh chord. Okay. So again, I'm just repeating these three chords: G major, G major seventh, and G seventh. In fact, I love this chromatic line going going down. Just this practice itself is such a pleasure. Now, if you see this note, so this is a flattened seventh note. So if I just flatten it by again another half step, so I have to rearrange again. So I'll reach this. So I'm holding an E here. So that gives me a G6 chord, and you can go further. There's a sharp five note, and if you just release this, so this becomes again a G chord. Practice it so much that you don't have to think about it when you're doing it. एंड आई होप के जैसे जब मैंने ये सीखा था मुझे बहुत ही ज़्यादा एक एंथुजियाज़म मिला था इसको सीखने के बाद बहुत ज़्यादा एक पुश मिला था एक अचीवमेंट की फीलिंग हुई थी कि ओके नाव एक 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 होप मिला था कि आई कैन प्ले सम ऑफ द कॉर्ड्स विद इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड वन ऑफ द मोस्ट ब्यूटिफुल थिंग इज दैट दिस इज अ मूवेबल शेप This in any key. Suppose now you want to do it in A. So this is A major. This is A major seven, and this is A seventh or dominant seventh. This is A six. अगर आप कोई progression बजाते हैं ये minor, C major, G major. So this is a two five one progression, which is a very common progression in jazz. Okay. इसी में ही अगर आप Play it with a little bit of embellishments, but instead of playing A minor just like this, you can play it like this maybe. So this is a variation of A minor, and then you can play a C seven, and then you can play this. So please play as much as you can. Have fun with this sound, and till the next time we meet again. Take care. Stay healthy. and keep practicing bye bye